Broadcasting from Studio 300, you're watching Holly Flavor. Welcome to this week's edition of Poly Playbook, where we recap and preview Cal Poly Athletics. I'm Tom Nork. And I'm Clara Knapp. On today's show, we will take a look at men's and women's basketball versus Hawaii, preview the action out on the diamond, and we'll meet the newest crop of Cal Poly football athletes. The Cal Poly men's basketball team took on the Hawaii Warriors Thursday night in a game that was decided in the final moments. The Mustangs shot the three ball well, nailing 11 of 23 of their shots outside the arc. Ridge Shipley hit four out of nine of his threes, while Joel Awich added a three of his own on his way to a double-double. And real quick, after this made three, we're gonna shift to the fourth quarter. Cal Poly down, under 10 seconds left. And Shipley misses, and just like that, Cal Poly fell short, and now Ho head coach Joe Calero has a week to prepare for Cal State Northridge. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think the first thing that I need to do is step away. I mean, it, 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 it's important that the coach steps away sometimes, and then three days without seeing the head coach, um, it's time for them to, you know, self-reflection doesn't occur when someone's staring at you. The loss drops the Mustangs to three and six in the Big West. They will next face Northridge at Mott Athletic Center on February 12th. The Cal Poly women's basketball is traveling to Hawaii this Saturday to take on the Warriors. Cal Poly currently sits in a first place tie with Hawaii. Both teams have a six and two record in the Big West. A highlight of the Mustang season so far has been junior Taryn Garza's rebounding streak. The forward is 36 rebounds away from 500 and is averaging just over seven boards per game. Tip off versus Hawaii is at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The Cal Poly baseball team is getting ready to kick off their 2015 season next week. The baseball team is preseason ranked 13th in the country and they have one of the toughest schedules in the Big West. They play a number of tough opponents on the road this season and are anxiously awaiting to get their season rolling. The Mustangs were 47-12 and 12 last season and won the Big West Conference. They also had the opportunity to host in NCAA Regionals here in San Luis Obispo where they ended their postseason run. Head coach Larry Lee is excited to see what the season will bring for Cal Poly. Uh, you know, cautiously optimistic. Uh, you know, cautiously optimistic. Uh, not quite sure. Each each year, each season brings a new set of challenges. So, need to be ready for, right from the start. Play a number of very good uh, teams on the road. The first series for the Mustangs is in Baylor on February 13th. Their home opener is against Grand Canyon University on February 20th. You can find a full preview of the baseball season next week on MustangNews.net. The Cal Poly softball team is off to a one-and-one one start after day one of the Arizona State Kajikawa Classic. The Mustangs beat Creighton one and zero and then lost to Oregon eight and zero Friday. Saturday, the team will face BYU in California before concluding the weekend by playing Oregon State on Sunday. The Mustangs will look to follow up their 2014 campaign in which the team went 33-19 to overall. The Cal Poly's first home softball game will be March 7th versus Stony Brook. The Cal Poly football team has signed 19 recruits for its 2015 freshman class. The recruits include 12 high school players with five defensive backs and four running backs. The Mustangs finished 7-5 overall in 2014 and 5-3 in the Big Sky. The recruits will look to add to a program that is 17-7 in its first three years in the conference. Need to be, and yet we still have some of the best players in the state of California saying yes to Cal Poly. And that's a, a tremendous compliment to the university, to our coaches, and the people we work with in the recruiting process. So. The regular signing period opened February 4th and closes April 1st. Well, that's it for today's show. Thanks for watching and make sure to tune in next Friday and log on to mustangnews.net for continuous Cal Poly sports coverage. I'm Tom Nork. And I'm Claire Knapp. Have a great weekend.